Hello guys, Zagon here, and welcome to the EVE Exploration Academy, where you're going to be learning the basics of exploration in EVE Online. Today I wanted to talk about the hacking minigame, which you will be doing in data and relic sites. To start hacking, target a hacking container and activate your relic or data analyzer module depending on what kind of a site it is. Let's take a look at the game board. The minigame is built out of nodes, which are these little circles. You can uncover nodes near already uncovered nodes. At the bottom left, you have two red bars. The left bar is your health, or virus coherence. The right bar is your attack power, or virus strength. At the bottom and the middle, there are three utility slots. Let me show you a quick example of a hacking minigame. The goal of the minigame is to find the system core. As I progress through the nodes, you see little numbers pop up inside them. These numbers indicate the proximity of a utility module, data cache, or the system core. You can also see some hostile modules trying to keep me from getting to the system core and disabling nodes around it, which all have health and attack power just like we do. If we destroy the core, we can access the loot in the can. Now let's see which utility modules we can possibly get. The first is a self-repair module, which will restore our health by 10 per turn over 3 turns. The second utility module we can get is a kernel rot, which will half the health of a hostile module when we apply it on one. The polymorphic shield protects us from attacks completely for two turns if we activate it before attacking the hostile module. The secondary vector attacks a hostile module for us by 20 attack power over three turns. Now let's take a look at the hostile modules, the first of which is the antivirus, with a high attack power but low health. The restoration node should be immediately killed as it restores the health of other hostile nodes. The Firewall has high health, but low attack power. The Fire Suppressor will reduce your attack power and should be immediately killed. The Data Cache is a wildcard node. It has a chance to spawn any hostile or utility module. I only activate these as a last resort, since you might be lucky if you're out of options. Finally, the game is won by destroying the system core. I recommend taking the sides of the board first because hostile modules block out all the nodes around it. If you encounter a hostile module on the sides, it blocks out less nodes than if it were activated in the middle. Armed with this information, you should be able to hack sites efficiently. If you want to do NullSec sites, make sure to equip a Tech2 Relic or Data Analyzer, otherwise you might have a hard time. Also note, some ships have specific bonuses to fire strength and coherence. I hope you found this video useful. Remember that the best way to learn is to go out and try it yourself. I recommend trying it out in high security space first. If you know someone who can use this kind of a video, please send it to them. Don't forget to drop a like and comment on the video if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one.